Praise the Lord, wonderful people of God. This is the Kingdom Preachers coming your, your way once again <clears throat> with a glorious message of the Kingdom, the Kingdom of God. And my name is P. Onesimus, Gilbert P. Onesimus. Uh, I believe that um, um, some of the viewers have seen my face already. Um, <clears throat> just as a um, couple of days ago, our pastors and our elders and our, our servants of God have been um, enlightening us concerning the kingdom of God. Um, on the message from the scripture, Luke chapter 16, verse 16, which says, pressing into the kingdom, the topic, pressing into the kingdom, or what are you pressing into? Today we are going to just make a little points concerning what our, our, our servants of God have already uh, um, um, elaborated on. Praise the Lord. So that we can spend much time praying. And because um, we saw that the previous days we did not get a length of time praying. A length of time praying because this is a remnant hour for prayer. Hallelujah. So I believe that I'm not going to say so much um, concerning what my, my leaders have already spoken about. So we are going to spend much time praying today. Hallelujah. Amen. As um, we've been studying the previous days, Luke chapter 16, verse 16, we says, the law and the prophets were unto John, and after John, the kingdom of God has been preached, and people are pressing into it. Hallelujah. We can know that, or from this scripture, we can believe that when the kingdom of God is being preached, people yearn to press into it. People yearn to press into it. So people are eager to press into the kingdom when the kingdom is being preached. Um, previously, we can, if we can, we can remember, um, uh, the servants of God were saying, where, wherever you are, whatever or whatever is being preached to you, that is where you, you, you have the eager to be. So um, I think one uh, um, servant of God said that today you can hear the messages of hell, 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 and everything concerning what people are doing now. They are thinking of how, how they can escape hell, the, the fears of hell. And uh, when, when you, when you, when you, when you wear trousers, you are going to, you are going to go to hell. You are going to be burned with fire. When you tell a lie, you are going to. So the mind of the mind of the elect or the mind of the Christians are always pointing to hell. Hallelujah. Yeah. But today we are on this platform to tell you that take your mind from hell and put your mind into the kingdom of heaven where the Lord himself will make our lives glorious. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Jesus Christ in his time of ministry did not really emphasize so much on hell, 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 like today some men of God are saying. And just because of that, some people will say, oh, I've seen a revelation. And if they are true, if they are true, and all they are saying is about hell. Meanwhile, the Lord Jesus Christ has prepared a kingdom for us so that we can enter into the kingdom. So the Lord has reveal this uh, 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 hell to people instead of the kingdom of heaven. I always have a question there. Hallelujah. What about you? Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ brought us the kingdom. And people who claim to be following the Lord Jesus Christ are seeing hell. They are seeing hell. They are seeing hell. They are not rather seeing the kingdom of God that the Lord Jesus Christ came to introduce to us. Hallelujah. Amen. So we should, we should, we should we should have questions in our minds. Hallelujah. So as we're saying, Luke 16, 16 says, The message of the law and the prophets ended on John. And since, since that time, the kingdom of God has been preached. So kingdom preachers, we have taken it upon ourselves to speak about the kingdom of God, just as the Lord Jesus Christ instructed the apostles to preach about the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Which has also become the mother gospel the gospel upon which all other gospels are built upon hallelujah and if you are hearing any message that does not direct you into the kingdom of god you should know that gospel will not stand for long hallelujah amen, amen. so i would like to um 
um, um, visit the scripture with you. I just listed a few things. How to how to join the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. How to join the kingdom. How to press into the kingdom. Pressing into the kingdom. How do we even press into the kingdom? Hallelujah. Um, I would like my reader. Um, I plead the, the man of God. Uh, Matthew chapter 22, verse 1. We would like to um, make a note there. Um, concerning the Lord Jesus Christ comparing the kingdom of heaven to a king who threw a, a wedding feast for his son and invited people to come into the wedding feast. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I'm taking it from that angle. Matthew, Matthew chapter, chapter 22, yeah. verse 1. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answered and spake unto them again yep. by a parable and said, mm -hmm. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, mm -hmm. which made a marriage for his son, and sent for his servants to call them that were bidden. Praise to... the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. So, praise the Lord. So this this is talking about the Lord Jesus Christ comparing the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven to a king who threw a wedding feast for his son. Hallelujah. So the king of the kingdom invited people to come to his son's wedding feast. Hallelujah. Amen. So upon inviting them to come into the wedding feast, he had a special kind of people that he wanted to see at the wedding feast. A special kind of people. When we are relating it to what um, previously we were studying, we knew that God had salvation only for the people of Israel. And we Gentiles were not part of this, this call. Gentiles were not part of this call. So God was trying all means to get these people so that he can save them. But when the rejection of the invitation came, then we also had the privilege to be invited. Hallelujah. So they rejected it. When please you can you can go on. Okay, verse one, mm -hmm. Matthew chapter twenty-two. Mm -hmm. It says, And Jesus answered and spoke to them again by parable and said, mm -hmm. The kingdom of heaven is like a certain king. A certain who, king, yeah. Who arranged a marriage for his son and sent out his servant to call those who were invited to the wedding. So he sent out the king sent out. His servants to call those who were invited. So meaning the king had a special caliber of people. He wanted them to come to the wedding feast. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh -huh. Please let's go on. And they were not willing to come. And they were not willing to come. Hallelujah. Why were they not willing to come? Because they had entangled themselves with the things of this world. They have entangled themselves with the, 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 the regulations of this world, the laws and, the, and, and, and all of those things. Hallelujah. Amen. So these things have become an entanglement to their lives. And just because of these things, they could not break free. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am building upon what the servants of God have already spoken. I'm not going to delve deep. I'm not going to dive into what has already been made already, um, 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 delved into already. Hallelujah. Amen. They spoke about the law. I believe uh, we had so many questions coming in and the, the servants of God by the message of God answered all those questions. So you know where I'm coming from. Hallelujah. Amen. So because of the entanglement of the things of the law, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because of the entanglement of the law, the prophets, what you should not do this, you should not do that. When the message of the kingdom has been delivered to us, John the Baptist came to announce the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And the law and the prophets were pointing to the Lord Jesus Christ. So imagine, let, let me draw a picture. The law and the prophets were pointing to the Lord Jesus Christ, that there is someone coming with the kingdom. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ comes. Do you think that the Lord should still work hand in hand with the Lord Jesus Christ? No. Because the law and the prophets pointed to the Lord Jesus Christ that there is someone coming. And when that person comes, he comes with a kingdom. And when that person comes, we, our work, our work introducing him, pointing to him, will be done. And he will take it from there. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Lord Jesus Christ came to end the law according to Romans chapter 10 verse 4. 
so that the kingdom message, the new kind of gospel will begin. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So um, please mind me. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. Again, he sent out other servants. So he sent out other servants. Saying, mm -hmm. tell those who are invited. Tell those who are invited. See, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and fatted cattle are killed. And all things are ready. Come to the wedding. But they made light of it and went their ways. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can end there for me. Hallelujah. So, today... Like we are saying, you can, you can notice, we believe that the law, we are not under the law, we are under grace, but most of the things that we are doing prove that we are under the law. And James says, if you fail one of the law, you have failed all. So imagine, for instance, you are paying tight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are not doing the others. You are not observing the feast. You are not observing the Sabbath. You are not doing the rest of the 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 the, the, the list of the laws. You and you have chosen just one to observe them. Aren't you lost? Aren't you lost? Hallelujah. Amen. And mind you, the law is a bondage. It is actually a yoke. So you cannot. A bundled stuff of things. You cannot say something that has been bundled and tied and sealed. You are going to, you are going to take only one out of it and carry. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to carry all. So James said, because, because you have to carry all. When you take out one and you are not carrying the rest, you are in danger. Hallelujah. Amen. Please read from the verse 9. Verse nine. I'm not going to talk much. So. Uh -huh. it says, Let's see. Uh -huh. Therefore, go into the highways. So, after the king invited special people to come into the kingdom, and they refused, they make light of it, they make fun of it, the Lord came out to the streets. Came out to the high streets. Please, you can read for me, sorry. It says, therefore, go into the highways and as many go as you find. Go into the highways. And as many as you find. And as many as you find. Invite to the wedding. Invite to the wedding. So, the special people rejected the invitation. Now, the, the, the wedding feast needs to be filled with people. Because there has been a preparation of all good things. And the things need to be, be enjoyed by men. By, by elects of God, by people of God. And the special people that have been invited to come to the wedding are not coming. So then the king gave an option to all men. That is why today you are a part of the kingdom. That is why today I am a part of the kingdom. Hallelujah. So the king invited all. He told the servants, those who just joined, we are taking the scripture from Matthew chapter 22. Hallelujah. And now we are reading the verse 9. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the king told his servants to go out there and invite all, as many as they can find. Hallelujah. Amen. That is how you can join the kingdom. Anyone listening to me? Hallelujah. So, he invited all to come to the wedding. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Please, you can read for me. Verse 10. Mm -hmm. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all whom they found, yeah. both bad and good. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. Mm -hmm. Verse Praise. 11. Praise the Lord. Let it be there. God bless you, my reader. Hallelujah. So the servants went out and invited as many as they can find. And the auditorium of the wedding was full with guests. Hallelujah. Amen. This gives this gives you Hallelujah. This gives you the chance to be a part of the kingdom. As you have heard. This gives you a chance to be a part of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. The kingdom is ready to accept all, good and bad. Hallelujah. But one thing we should know, after coming into the kingdom with that good and bad characters, there are some qualities that will cause you to remain in the kingdom. 
Praise the Lord. There are qualities that will make you remain, that will make you dwell in the kingdom, that will make you an inhabitant of the kingdom for good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Which we can see in the book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 17. Romans, chapter 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. So, the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. But righteousness. So, righteousness, peace, one character. Peace. And joy. Second character, joy. In the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, as you press into the kingdom, the Lord, by His mercy, through His Holy Spirit, gives you righteousness. So then, as we were saying, this morning, um, one of my, my senior pastors were saying that he used to have countless number of tattered jeans. Hallelujah. Countless of them. Because when he goes to the market to buy jeans, he's, he's going to fish out for the, the craziest tattered jeans he, he, jeans he can ever get. But when he came into the kingdom, he understood the things of the Spirit of God. Nobody need to tell him, my friend, these jeans you are wearing, see, you are wearing jeans and they are even revealing your, 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 your briefs underneath, your boxer shorts and all that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I speak to you, I used to, I used to like to sag my, my pants. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But nobody told me, stop sagging. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, when you come to the kingdom, the Holy Spirit, God by the Holy Spirit will give you an understanding to know what is right and what is not right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So then, righteousness. Like I said, if you, you, you admire wearing tattered jeans, if you admire wearing revealing clothes, if you admire doing things that are contrary to the Spirit, because the Spirit of the Lord has been granted to you, you don't even hustle. You don't even stress yourself. And listen, you will be having a conviction in your mind. So anytime you hear a servant of God speak about this, you don't even, you don't even, you don't even struggle with it. Hallelujah. You don't struggle. That, ah, this thing that I've heard, bah, this man of God, I don't believe it. No. Because righteousness through the Spirit of God and by the message of God has been imputed in you. So you know what is right and you know what is wrong. And nobody needs to tell you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wonderful people of God. God bless you for listening. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the characters, righteousness, peace. Now you find peace in you. In every situation, when people are murmuring about and complaining, why is God doing? I can't remember. <laughs> I attended a, a certain church program and it was actually a prayer program. They called it the referendum R in a, a certain church. And it was actually young people like myself and ourselves, every young person on the platform, and they were praying. And I noticed one thing. There was one particular gentleman in the auditorium who had actually separated himself a little bit from the group of people praying. And all he was saying, God, why? God, why? God, why? God, why? Why, God, why? I cannot tell. Hallelujah. So, I believe that, or I can say that, that person was going through a particular problem that if he had laid it upon the Lord and left it for the Lord to deal with, he wouldn't come to the premises of God or the auditorium of God and be asking God, why? God, why? Because he doesn't have peace in him. Hallelujah. Every prayer topic that is being lifted, God, why? God, why? God, why? Hallelujah. Amen. If you have peace in you, you are not going to ask God why. You are going to, you are going to calm down. Render that situation for the Lord. And the Lord is going to take upon himself to sort you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So you need to have peace in you. Hallelujah. Amen. After righteousness. Now, it says joy. Hallelujah. Joy. See, let's observe something. The apostles went through a whole lot of problems. 
but because of the kingdom of God, they counted it all joy. I know you remember that scripture. Count it all joy. Hallelujah. Amen. So they rendered every problem, every situation they were going through for the Lord. And the Lord took upon himself to sort them out. And they, rend, they, 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 also, they also obtained all those things as joy. So you can know from the scriptures, the apostles, when they went through certain situation, when uh, uh, Peter and the rest who, who, who had an encounter in, in, in cells and imprisonment and in, 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 in flogging and all that, when they were released from whatever punishment they went through, when they came out, they rejoiced. I thank God that because of the gospel, today I've also been flogged, hundred lashes. But he will not go and say, ah, why, why am I serving God and I'm going through all this, this tragedy? Why am I going through all this? But God, why? No. You would count it rather joy. Hallelujah. Because of the kingdom, you would count it joy. Hallelujah. Because of the kingdom of God, you would count it joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We thank God. So we are going to see a confirmation of righteousness in the scripture. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Matthew chapter 6, mm -hmm. verse 33. It says, and I read, mm -hmm. but seek first the kingdom of God. But seek first the kingdom of God. And its righteousness. And its righteousness. And seek all first. Things. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my reader. Seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. So it means that after seeking the kingdom of God, there is this character of righteousness that you will need to have to remain in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And just because of this, hallelujah, every elect of God, every Christian of God, pursuing to press into the kingdom, needs to have these characters so that they will remain in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The, the men of God have spoken so much. So this is where we are going to take um, the privilege the Lord or the message of the Lord has given, the message the Lord has given to us to, to speak. This is where we are going to take it to. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that the various times that we follow this, 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 this platform, the Lord by his mercy will give us so much enlightenment and we are going to understand vividly and perfectly the purpose of the Lord for our lives so that we can also press into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So viewers out there, this is what the Lord wants for us to know today. Let us keep pressing into the kingdom. God bless you. God bless you for listening and for making time with us so that you would be a blessing. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. So, brothers and sisters, I would like for us to prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody may ask, um, you have been talking about the kingdom and you have not actually said anything about the kingdom yet, like why we should press into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. That time will be coming and you will desire to be in that kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. When the kingdom message hits you hard, you will forget about hell and you will stress into the kingdom. You will press into the kingdom. Amen. Amen. God bless you. So we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. First of all, we are going to give thanks. We are going to give thanks to God for the word he has given to us today. Open your mouth and bless the Lord. Open your mouth and bless Father, the Lord wherever you Jesus, are. Father, we bless you for this wonderful word you have given unto us. Father Lord, through Father Lord, this great revelation you have given unto us, how we, Father Lord, will press into the kingdom in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right up, I under the bar, 
Libra Kashian Dada Babe, Raika Payan Dada Ba, Libra Kapayan Dada Babe, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, glory and honor be unto your name. We magnify you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for this great insight you have given unto us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we magnify you. <laughs> In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right up by another baby, Libra Kayanada Babe. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When we read, when we read the Matthew chapter 22, verse 1 through to the 4, we observe that the king invited special people into the, into the wedding feast. Hallelujah. But they, they they made light of it. Now it has gotten to our time. The invitation has gotten to us. We are praying any works of the enemy to cause us to make light of any invitation the Lord has given to us to press into the kingdom. May the Lord crush that plan. Mm. Every works of the enemy, no matter how the angle it comes from, as we read in Luke chapter 16 verse 16, the works of the enemy through the Lord to entangle us back into the law and enslave us back into the law, that will not cause us to press into the kingdom. May the Lord deliver us from any works of the enemy mm. that will cause us not to press into the kingdom. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, any works of the enemy, whatever the enemy has orchestrated against our land to cause us not to be able to press into the kingdom as we pray, Father Lord, as we study in your word in Matthew 22, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anything that will cause us to make light of Father Lord the invitation you have given unto us to press into the kingdom in the name of Jesus, may you, Father Lord, abort them, may you terminate them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of our Lord Jesus, in the name. Name of Jesus. Before we, we proceed, Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. If you have any questions to ask, you can type them, and we will 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 we'll come to you for the answer. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. We'll attend to you for the answer. So there, there are still doors open for questions and contributions and and all that. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. So we are proceeding. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, we are praying once again. Any invitation that we have been called into the kingdom. To also be made servants to go out there and invite people into the kingdom. May the Lord give us the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding Jesus. to perform as he has called us. Yes. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Any Father Lord call, any invitation, any honor you have given unto us, O Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father Lord, to be preachers of the kingdom as you gave unto the apostles, O Lord Jesus, and the Father Lord worked diligently, Father Lord Jesus, to invite as many as they could, Father Lord, into the kingdom that has got into our time now, O Lord Jesus, that we also have to take upon ourselves the mantle in the name of Jesus to invite others as we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, any honor the Lord has had a message upon us to honor us to become inviters of the king to, to, to invite others to invite the healing that are left out there to press into the kingdom in the name of Jesus may the Lord give us the wisdom may the Lord give us the grace may the Lord give us the understanding in the name of Jesus 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 in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O Lord God of Israel, may you, Father Lord, ordain us with wisdom, ordain us, Father Lord, with knowledge, ordain us with understanding in the name of Jesus, that we may be able, Father Lord, to be diligent as the apostles were in the name of Jesus, in the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus, right up, Papa Yanada Ba, Nebrakasian Tadababe, right Kayanada Babe, in the name of Jesus. 
We are praying. May the Lord grant us the grace to always focus on the kingdom in every endeavor of our lives. Hallelujah. In every endeavor of our Christian life. May the Lord grant us the grace to focus on the kingdom yes. and the kingdom alone. Oh. There are certain times that you, you, you'll be holding on to a certain faith or a certain belief, mm. but somebody will say something and that thing will confuse you mm. and you think that what you are holding is not even fair. Mm. What you are holding is not even true. We are praying the Lord that any plan of the enemy mm. to cause us to, to think that what we are holding is not, is not right whatever message that would be will be flying across the waves that we would we would even come we would even have an encounter with that would con con conflict conflict with our belief in, in the kingdom of heaven. May the Lord deliver us. May the Lord crush it. If it hits us, may the Lord have, make it have no effect on our life. That we would always concentrate on the kingdom and press into the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any plan of the enemy was so relevant. Father Lord to come and contradict. Father Lord to come and conflict with Father Lord, what you have taught us so long through your kingdom that we will press into in the name of Jesus as we pray in the name of Jesus. May you, O oh Lord, deliver us so long in the name of Jesus. May you permit it, Father Lord, to have no effect upon our life. In the name of Jesus, any plan of the enemy that has been orchestrated that two years from now, three years from now, one year from now, tomorrow, it will contradict with the message of the kingdom to cause us to think that it is not true. May the Lord abort it. May the Lord abort it. Any long-term plan, any short-term plan, any middle-term plan, in the name of Jesus, as we pray, Oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, may you deliver us. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Father Lord, condemn that plan, terminate that plan, destroy that plan, terminate that plan. In the name of Jesus, right up, Papa, another back, Hebraica, see another babe, right up, I another babe, right up, Papa, another back. In the name of our Lord Jesus, oh Lord God of Israel, any strategic plan of the enemy to sway us away, Father Lord, from the truth, Father Lord, from pressure into the kingdom as we pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God of Israel, may you deliver us. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come to our rescue in the name of Jesus. Right up by another baby. Right up by another baby. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right up by another baby. Lebraka Yanada Babe, right up by another Babe, right up by another Babe, in the name of our Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are praying, even as we have heard the kingdom message, any struggle we have with any kind of sin, may the message of the kingdom deliver us from that sin. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. May the Lord deliver us from any kind of sin we are struggling with. Sin that we, we, we tell ourselves, I have stopped doing this. I have stopped, I have fasted for days. I have fasted for weeks. I have prayed to the Lord and I need to, I need to be delivered from temper. I need to be delivered from quick temperance. But we find ourselves so long being, being, being entangled with quick temperance. May the Lord, by his mercy, deliver us in the name of Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Any character. Jesus. Any character that will not cause us to press into the kingdom, any character setting us back, any character drawing us back from pressing into the kingdom, any character that we, Father Lord, no Father Lord has become an obstacle in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, being the last of the eye, being the last of the flesh, being the desire of the things of this world, being the Father Lord, read, O oh Lord. Be the temper, whatever that set us back from pressing into the kingdom as we pray in the name of Jesus. May you, Father Lord, deliver us in the name of Jesus. 
In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, Raka Yanada Babe, the Braka Papa Yanada Ba, Lord, deliver us, O Lord. May you break, Father Lord, every Father Lord, works of that power in the name of Jesus against our lives. In the name of Jesus, Raka Paya Nada Babe, the Braka Yanada Babe, Raka Paya Nada Babe, in the name of Jesus. There are certain situations that happen. Then a character pops up. Then you will know that, hey, I even had bitterness in me. I never knew. I quite remember a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago, I won't say weeks. We were praying, actually praying on characters in our, in our regular uh, church meetings. And the servant of God has always been talking about bitterness. Bitterness, you know, like um, the characters that needs to be dealt with. And every time <clears throat> when they talk about bitterness, I'm like, what at all is bitterness? Because I don't know what is bitterness. Praise the Lord. So I, I always keep asking myself, bitterness, how, how is it like? Do you know something? Praying concerning characters. One evening I was I was lying down, I was sleeping, and the Lord revealed to me that you 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 talk about bitterness, you don't know what bitterness is. But I'm telling you, you have great bitterness in you. And what the Lord revealed to me, I listen, I knew that it is true. I had bitterness in me. Listen, the kind of bitterness the Lord revealed that I had was a bitterness that can even kill a man. I never knew. And I was in the church telling Telling myself, ah, what is bitterness? Can, you, can, can the man of God define what bitterness is? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I had, I had a strong and a severe bitterness in me that I wasn't even aware. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Some will say, well, what is last? What is last? Hey, me, I've not even experienced anything <coughs> of such before. But I'm telling you, if you are diligent enough to pray about this, the Lord is going to reveal it to you and you'll be delivered. So we are praying once again. We are telling the Lord, any hidden character in us, that a situation needs to, to, be, to be manifested, that it, it comes out. Before we know that we have this thing in us, we have this character in us, that will not give us access into the kingdom. May the Lord deliver us in the name of Jesus. Pray the Lord to deliver you in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray. Just as the Lord revealed to me what bitterness is, how I used to ask the Lord the question, what is bitterness? And the Lord by his mercy revealed unto me bitterness that was in me. Bitterness that could even murder a man. May the Lord deliver us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God of Israel, may you, Father Lord, deliver us, O Lord, from any subtle Father Lord character any character that is hidden in us so Lord that will cause us not to be able Father Lord to press in that will draw us back even as we press in it will be drawing us back in the name of Jesus let that character be a button vindicator vindicator <laughs> In the name of Jesus, vindicate us, O Lord, vindicate us, O Lord, deliver us, O Lord, break that yoke, destroy that plan, destroy that character. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is, be it in lust, be it in pride of life, be it in arrogance. In the name of Jesus, be it in Father Lord, self righteousness. In the name of Jesus, may you deliver us. In the name of our Lord Jesus, right. Right up by another baby, right up by another baby, in the name of our Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Some time passed, I observed something with certain so called or acclaimed uh, holiness churches. Hallelujah. We went for a program, and you know, uh, I, 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 was, I was actually wondering, you know. Some someone is talking to you and they are giving you space like as, excuse me to say, like you are bathed in 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 in, in feces. Because they see themselves to be so righteous that the other people, the other holiness churches or whatever they call themselves, 
let me say the doctrines they have gotten to know they don't know and and discrimination hallelujah that is what the lord does to people it makes people discriminate hallelujah and and i was i was surprised i was shocked i said ah we are we we, we are all practicing holiness and some people are seeing themselves to be more holier than than thou so they'll give you a space even when you're talking to someone Their, their impressions can tell. Hallelujah. Self-righteousness. It's even a character that will not even help you enter the kingdom. It will draw you back. Hallelujah. May the Lord deliver us from self-righteousness. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Father, by your mercies, if there is any seed of self-righteousness in me, righteousness that, Father Lord, comes from my mind, that I think that I'm righteous, that I think that, Father Lord, I'm perfect, that I think that, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord, my way, oh Lord Jesus, have no, Father Lord, hate us, oh Lord, may you deliver me in the name of Jesus, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Now we are praying, we are combining the characters, the perfect characters, the characters that would qualify us into the kingdom. May the Lord grant unto us by his message the characters of righteousness, the characters of peace, and the characters of joy. Hallelujah. When you look at the book of Galatians, chapter Galatians, it speaks about the works of the of the of the spirit. Hallelujah. All those things, all those uh, uh, listings are the characters that would enable us to press into the kingdom. Mm. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So we are going to pray. This, based on the word of God in Romans chapter 14, verse 17, which listed the three characters that would help us press into the kingdom or that would make us dwell in the kingdom. May the Lord grant unto us Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, the character of righteousness. May you, Father Lord, grant unto me, Lord Jesus, the character of righteousness. May you, Father Lord, grant unto Father Lord, our listeners and viewers in the name of Jesus, the character of righteousness that will cause us, Father Lord, to remain in the kingdom. May you, Father Lord, by your mercies, in the name of Jesus, grant unto us the character of peace. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you grant unto us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the character of joy. May you, Father Lord, ordain your church win. May you ordain the elect win. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <coughs> In the name of our Lord Jesus, Rika Papa Yana Rababe. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Rika Papa Yana Rababe. Father Lord, the three characters, O Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, of the kingdom, O Lord, that the Holy Spirit, Father Lord Jesus, gives, O Lord. May you by your mercy, O Lord, grant unto us, O Lord, righteousness, O Lord, peace, O Lord, joy, O Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Father Lord, may you ordain us. So Lord, with these characters, so Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus, like I in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are praying for the viewers. Hallelujah. We are praying for the viewers out there. We are telling the Lord, may He grant them the grace to stand, to press along with us into the kingdom. Whatever the plan of the enemy against any one of them out there, may the Lord terminate them all in the name of Jesus. May the Lord terminate them all in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. May the Lord annihilate every works of the enemy against Father Lord, the elect out there. Those who are listening to us right now. Those Father Lord, these Father Lord Jesus videos, Father Lord, we reach out to in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, may you deliver them, O Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, from whatever plan of the enemy. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father Lord, may you keep them, O Lord, preserve them. In the name of Jesus, just as Father Lord, you preserve the 7,000 Father Lord prophets, O Lord, in the days of Elijah. May you, Father Lord, preserve them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are telling the Lord, just as he, he, he preserved the 7,000 prophets in the, in the time of Elijah, when, when, when Jezebel 
was, was pursuing the life of, of, of Elijah. The Lord preserved 7,000 prophets in addition to Elijah. Hallelujah. May the Lord preserve every elect out there in the name of Jesus, just as he did in the days of Elijah. Open your mouth and pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father Lord, just as so long, by your mercy, so long, you kept the 7,000 prophets, so long. May you also keep, Father Lord Jesus, every elect out there in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right, Papa, another baby. Every elect all over the world, those Father Lord viewing us now, those who Father Lord, these videos Father Lord will reach, oh Lord, anyone Father Lord Jesus who would encounter this video in the name of Jesus, may the Lord preserve them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are blessing the Lord for answering our prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name, we magnify you for the answered prayers. We give you all the glory. We magnify you, O oh Lord Jesus. You are worthy of our praise. In the name of our Lord Jesus, for your word and your deliverance. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you for listening. God bless you for listening. This evening, once again, for joining the Rephidim Hour of Prayer with the Kingdom Preachers. Hallelujah. God richly bless you. Hallelujah. God richly bless you for being with us. Hallelujah. And I pray the Lord, wherever you are listening to us, may pressing into the kingdom be easier for you. May the Lord grant you all the characters that will make you remain in the kingdom. May the Lord grant you the strength to press into the kingdom. Amen. May the Lord grant you the wisdom to press into the Amen. kingdom. And may the Lord seal your mind, your hearing from any any wave of the enemy Jesus. that would divert you from the kingdom. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes. you have been blessed yes. by this message. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God richly bless everyone who joined us today. Every single one of you. God richly bless you. And may you always make time for us, for the Lord has something special for you on this platform. God bless you. Mm. Amen. Bye-bye.